first I'm just gonna fit the sizes on here. Righty tighty lefty loosey, right? I gotta hold I gotta hold this one on the left just so I can tighten up the one on the right. Righty tighty, so I'm going up on this one. Like that. There. That's all I'm going. I'm not gonna go any further than that. That's plenty tight. Okay? Just like that. We got that hooked on there. Now here's something funny. At the store, uh, when I was trying to find that fitting, um, this this fitting, we couldn't find it. And Mommy found a box, kind of like, kind of like this, and it was for three eighths pipe. But it was only she got it, and I thought, okay, okay, I'll, I'll end up. It probably has all the same things as this here. I'll end up taking this off to there. Or actually to there because see this this regulator comes with this kit see right here okay with the pipe and everything but the little one that uh, Momi got at the store didn't have the regulator all it had was the pipe in there and something else it didn't have the quick disconnect had it had the quick disconnect I probably would have screwed it on there took this whole thing off and connected it and if this was a brand new barbecue, if it didn't have this regulator and it just had the pipe, I might have just tried to screw it onto that. And I believe every uh, barbecue has to have that regulator. Um, you know, even here we got a we got a gas we got a gas little fire pit right here. And let's just see on the gas on the propane tank. See on the propane tank. The part that goes up to here, there's a little regulator on it. And then the screw thing that you just attach to the propane tank. So you've got a regulator on there. I almost was getting ready to hook this whole thing up without that little regulator. And I'm going to have to read uh, the directions on here about the regulator. And I, I'm sure, I'm thinking this one's okay, but see there's a little slot on this thing here. I don't know which way, which direction it should be. It probably needs to be where it is because see there's an arrow see that arrow right there and this is probably opening the 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 um the gas line and i and um when we use the barbecue i don't know i may talk to my i may talk to my uh my neighbor and see what he did when he turned his gas off uh does he turn the uh regulator off or does he turn this off every time he uses his barbecue i have no idea if he does or not because when we get when we get ready, when we use the gas fire pit, um, we always turn this on first. Even though it's got an electric, it's got the electric starter and all that kind of stuff. When we turn it off. We always like to come down and reach under there and turn the actual propane tank off. Well, see, we could have done the same thing on a barbecue, but since it's got the since it's got this thing here, the gas valve, the question then becomes. We turn when we turn the gas, when we turn the barbecue off. Do I want to reach down there and turn that, turn that valve off every time? Because that would basically be mimicking turning off the propane tank, right? I think that's probably how you do it. I don't think you want to leave your gas on 100% when you have your gas grill off with the buttons, you know, the 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 valves, the handles on the front, and all that kind of stuff. I don't know because I don't use. A gas barbecue much. Momi, Momi is the barbecue queen around here and if it was up to me I wouldn't even have a barbecue. But um, you know here's, a, here's another thought for you too. If you don't want to hook up, uh, if, if you're kind of leery about gas, did you know they have barbecues nowadays that are electric? And you can plug it in. If you got an electrical outlet here, here we have an electrical outlet under here happens to be a uh, GFI electrical outlet. I believe it's on a, either 15 amp or 20 amp circuit. I, I'd have to uh, check it all out. Um, and down the road, I might decide to, to cap off the uh, gas and put an electric barbecue in here. You know, if we ever turn this condo into an Airbnb, if we decide we don't want to live here anymore, we might turn the 
turn this place into an Airbnb. And if we do that, chances are I'm probably not going to want a gas barbecue out here because I'm just asking for trouble. Maybe I'll put an electric, electric barbecue here and get rid of the gas pit here. Not even have a pit. You know what I mean with the gas? I mean this thing. This thing's pretty cool when it's on at night and we get and we got the one with little marbles. Actually, this one came with uh, rocks. And we took that off and we got the we got the glass bits. And this looks really cool at night. That's something you want to try. When you get these, if you get these at the store, you want to make sure they're approved for a fire, a gas fire, because not all of them are. And then what happens is these could get hot and break or burst or explode or something like that. So get the ones for the gas uh, pit, you know, if you're going to change out your rocks or something. And uh, we may end up changing this whole thing to electric, but, you know, and if we did that, if I ever uh, left this like this, I'd probably end up putting a cap. This was left open. It's really not a good idea. If you're not going to use your gas, go ahead and put a cap on there. Get your Teflon tape, put a cap on the end of it, even though you have the valve off. You know, in case somebody turns it on by accident, you get some kids playing around, or your gas uh, valve uh, gets damaged or something. You don't want to. You don't want to have a leak coming out of there, and nothing would ever happen if you put the cap on there. And the other thing is, if you get bugs crawling up here, or ants, or something makes a nest down in there, and, and then you hook this up, and and uh, you find out later all that stuff came up, uh, and maybe it's maybe it's gonna it's gonna come through your pipe. And it's gonna get all messed up in your regulator. Your regulator's not gonna be working properly. Don't ever leave it like that. In my case, because I'm going to be taking this nipple off, this uh, nipple or this uh, elbow off, I can look down in there from here down, shine a little flashlight in there, make sure there's nothing down in there before I put my, my new fittings on there, okay? Lots of things to think about when you're getting ready to uh, decide, hey, do you want a gas grill on your, on your deck or not? Okay, did Joe eat his, eat his Wheaties today or not? I got a couple, uh, uh, wrenches here. Ch I just got channel lock wrenches. I used to have a pipe wrench years ago, and I would generally take that off with a pipe wrench, but I don't have one anymore. And, um, I'm looking at this and see this, this, uh, nipple here is half inch. I want to keep that one, right? So I want to unscrew this off of that. If I just take my channel, if I just try to unscrew this with just one wrench, it could even loosen up my, uh, my valve underneath because I wasn't hanging on to things. So you've got to be careful when you're using pipe wrenches and stuff. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to use, I see I got, I got, Big ones, medium ones. I think I'm going to use my uh, medium ones. Let's just see. Adjustable channel locks, these are called. Get it on the right, on the right one. See, that'll, that'll hold this, this one. Let's see. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. That, that applies to just about everything. So see, on this, on this one, I want to, I want to go that way. Right. So over here, I want this, I want to hang on to this to the left. I don't want to tighten that, but I'm just going to hold it tight to try to get this off. Okay. And I'm going to, I think I'll just leave that uh, 3 8 on there on this fitting for the time being. I have no idea if I'm ever going to use that for anything. Now, let's see here. I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to, I'm going to hold this one, this one to go that way, this one to go the other way. So, let's just see if I can do it. There, hey, look at that. There we go. That's like that. Am I, am I a professional plumber? No, you don't have to be either. As long as you just know a few basic things. Now see, 
they've got, look at that, it looks like there's, there's a, uh, I don't know, maybe some cobwebs in there. There's nothing, I don't think there's anything down there. Remember I said I was gonna shine a flashlight down there to see? I'll take my phone light. Let's see if I can't see anything in there. And then everything looks clear. Okay. And so I'll, I'll save this. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use it, but I always save things. Because you never know when you're gonna need stuff. Okay, so so before I do anything, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can't uh, take this old Teflon tape off of here. And I'll have to spend a few minutes on that. Um, generally, I try to find a uh, a drywall screw, sheetrock screw, and I and I probably got one in here. Lots of times, the 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 tips on screws are nice and sharp, even if it's an old if it's an old drywall screw. See there, how sharp that is. And so I'm going to take that, and I'm just going to uh, go around these these threads down in here. And I want to get I want to get off. as much as that of the old tape that I can so that when I put my new stuff on there I know I know it's gonna be it's gonna hold fine okay uh, see this stuff this Teflon tapes probably been on here since day one and this condo is oh I don't know oh uh, I think it I think it was built in 2005 so it's over 15 years old and so this Teflon tape on here could be 15 years old if they hook this up from day one you see all of it lots of that is coming off below the threads but sometimes below where the threads are going to tighten on there but sometimes you never know and I'll just I'll just take it off I'll just take off more and spend a few minutes on that because I want that to look nice when I get done with it okay once I put the new stuff on 